Textured dishes are very in right now and Pottery Barn has several options. So I wanted to create my own option from Dollar Tree. So I picked up a bowl and I also picked up a container of the caulking that they have in their little home improvement section by the paint brushes and like all of their tools. So I started by just emptying pretty much the entire tube of the caulking into the center of my bowl. I just took the spatula and moved it around till I kind of got an even coat around the inside of my bowl. Now this does not have to be perfect because of our next step that we're going to do. Then I took my spatula and I made a little circle in the middle of my bowl. Then once I kind of got to where it started to go up the edge of the bowl, I just made line indentions all the way up. Now the reason I did this is because I'm planning on painting and I wanted it to have a little bit of texture before I painted it. So let that dry completely, like 24 hours. It may not take that long. Sometimes when you're using a lot of layers like that, it's just better to let it dry overnight. So I came back the next day and this is always the fun part for me is picking out the paints and figuring out, you know, how I'm gonna put it all together. So I grabbed my vintage effects wash paint and I will link that down in the description box. Uh, several of you told me that it's back in stock at Amazon, so I'm excited about that. And I'm just gonna take a foam brush and lightly brush around the Bowl. This is just going to bring out all of that detail that I just put in and then I'm also going to take that same brush and go to the outside of my bowl because the bowl that I picked up had a lot of texture to it so I wanted to bring out that detail as well. Now from here, I like to step back, see you know what I need to add. I felt like I needed to add a little bit of gold and maybe another shade of brown just to kind of give it more dimensions. So I grabbed a couple of acrylic paints that I had and added that in. Now, once I added in all those colors, I realized that I was kind of missing some of that white from the caulking. So I came back in with my Waverly white and just added some white. So that's the fun thing. Just have fun with it. Add colors until you're happy with the final product. And here's a look at how this bowl turned out. So Pottery Barn's website has this sea glass filler and Dollar Tree also carries something very similar. They have a pack of sea glass filler that has kind of like, it's like white and blues and greens. So I went ahead and picked up five containers of the sea glass that they have at Dollar Tree. Now I thought I could make a fun display for spring with this. So I grabbed one of the trays that they also have at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna start by painting the tray with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. So next up, you're going to need some white or cream candles. I grabbed some that I already had on hand. You can get these at Dollar Tree, Ikea, Walmart for really inexpensive. So I'm gonna put three of the candles on the tray. Next, I'm gonna start adding in my sea glass. Now, I didn't really wanna use the green. I wanted to stick more with like the clears, whites, and blues, cause that's more of my colors that I have in my house. So I pulled all of those out, which I'm pretty sure there was a majority of green in those packets. So I ended up using all five just to get out the blues and the whites that I wanted. I think if I would have added in the greens, I probably would not have had to use all five packets. So that's just a little information if you recreate this. But this was super simple. It really didn't take me that long to put together. And this would make a great centerpiece or I think sitting on a console table behind your couch would be great as well. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.